Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about deep vein thrombosis. Common signs and symptoms. Also don't forget to subscribe for more tips in the future. But back to our topic. The words blood clot or thrombosis always leads to a degree of anxiety when mentioned. Quite often however they may be of no concern and simple reassurance is all that is needed. For example, when an injury causes minor bleeding under the skin, it leads to a classical appearance known as a bruise. When the bruise is substantial, a hard lump can be felt under the skin that can form a small clot of blood, which eventually resolves itself. But the big concern that is often mentioned by patients is the term DVT. What is a deep vein thrombosis? Veins are the important vessels that carry blood from the tissues eventually converging to take blood back to the heart. They have a bluish look to them as the blood they carry is deoxygenated. In the leg we have superficial veins and deeper veins. The superficial veins are often easily visible, and it is these that often become incompetent leading to a varicose form. It is the deeper veins in the calf and thigh that can cause real trouble. When a clot forms in these veins they lead to swelling and pain in the surrounding tissues. What are the common symptoms? Swelling and pain soon become quite obvious in the lower limbs and usually only one side is affected. The calf is the commonest side of pain. Redness and swelling then develop. Measuring one calf in comparison to the other often shows a significant difference. Tenderness is exquisite when pressure is put at the back of the calf or thigh. What are the risk factors? In the early 19th century, a German scientist called Rudolf Virchow discovered the triad of factors that lead to the formation of a clot. These were, hypercoagulability, hemodynamic changes, endothelial injury. This all sounds very scientific, but in this modern age, this triad is quite easily fulfilled due to a number of important changes that now affect almost everyone. Long haul travel and long operative procedures, thanks to modern day anesthetic techniques are two very important risk factors. Also the use of the combined contraceptive, the ever-growing epidemic of obesity, and the increasing human underactivity due to modern transport, are all to blame. Let us break this trend down to understand it. Hypercoagable states are caused by cancer, pregnancy, genetic blood disorders called thrombophilia, dehydration and being on the combined pill. Hemodynamic changes occur with stasis. So people on long haul travel, having long operations or obesity. Endothelial damage occurs during surgery, by smoking, when stuck in a position for a long time, long haul flying. So it is quite easy now to see why it is becoming more common. Why is it a problem? The biggest concern with the formation of a clot in the deep veins is the risk that this clot may dislodge and shoot to the lung. If the clot is big enough, this can be fatal. What to do if you suspect a DVT? The important thing is to seek medical advice sooner rather than later. With simple history taking and examination, the doctor can quickly ascertain whether further investigations are required, and a quick diagnosis will lead to early treatment, which is essential. Avoidance of DVT. This is the key. To avoid a DVT, if any of the above risk factors are a possibility, various options are available. Please speak to your doctor about these as guidelines often change, and each person has their own individual risk. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.